climbed to the top of uh, Mount Snowden. We came back down. You can't see anything because it is all cloudy, but I did go straight up the face of that. I come back down and I've decided there's this other peak over there that goes really high. Um, so I'm going to attempt to climb it. I'm going to see how hard it is. And then we go back down through the valleys. And it looks like the giant lake or the ocean over there. Alright. I don't know what mountain that is, and I was getting ready to go up. It's a very, uh, a lot of decisions to make when you're going. But after seeing how steep that is, and see, there's some people climbing right there, and they are on the edge, and their hands, they're climbing with their hands and feet. Um, it looks a little scary to me, especially being afraid of heights, and I don't even want to know what's under me right here, but this goes straight down. I believe, oh my god, I don't even like to think about it. And there's a lake way down there. I think that's the easy trail to go up. I'm not quite sure, but I know this was supposed to be the hard one. Um, so anyway, this is climbing. And if, if I get to a point where it looks too scary, I'm just not gonna go. I'm not gonna worry about it. That is scary. I've uh, come pretty much almost all the way back down the Mount Snowden Trail and it has been raining for about the last, at least the last hour and um, this is actually the nice part of the trail, this isn't really the most of it, but it's been treacherous. Uh, right now, if you can hear it. It's actually not too bad, as long as you keep moving. Um, I've gone the entire day on one um, bottle that I drink a little bit on top. Um, two liters of Gatorade, which was in my pack. Uh, this is probably blurry, isn't it? Anyway, uh, and so I'm still going. I've been out about three and a half, sorry. I've actually been out about five and a half hours. Um, started at 10 this morning, it's almost four. On the six. So, uh, anyway, I'm just kind of waiting around for this rain to maybe die down a little bit. There's some low clouds moving in, but that's about all. Bye. So, this seriously seems like a jungle. I'm so thankful I just found this area where I can stand by some trees, but it is coming down. Um, no joke. So I'm going to wait and see how long this lasts, but uh, yeah. That's what I've been wearing. My hands are so cold. Um, it just stopped raining as soon as I got, um, back to my car. It was pouring so hard that I could not see about 20 feet ahead of me. I've never seen it rain that hard. Um, so I'm not even really sure what to do. I just kept uh, walking running. When I got to the bottom of the trailhead I actually took a right 
and kept on going down um, some random roads and then found some hills and ran up some hills and ended up uh, going really far today. It's been six hours and about 45 minutes since I started this morning. So, yeah. So, out of uh, my seven hours of walking, running, climbing the mountains back over there, uh, this was all I took with me for liquid, and it says I still have over a half liter left. Um, and that's those Gatorades. So, I had put two bottles in it was up to two liters and that and that was it so and there's still uh, plenty left in there anyway it's quite a productive day I guess I'm trying to sort out where I'm putting everything ah, the bugs are attacking me like crazy uh, and I am very wet and cold. My hands are still uh, pruned. Anyway, gotta get changed. Sick of these uh, bugs.